Isabel. I'm from South Africa. I'm married and blessed with two daughters. And I just wanted to thank Little Light Studios for everything that you do, um, opening the eyes of God's people. You have such an impact on so many people's lives from all around the world. And it just proves that the media can be used for the greater good. Um, I just love watching your videos and hearing from all, hearing all the testimonies, um, which leads to my own. Um, I don't know how I came across the channel um, on YouTube. The first video I watched was on the 5th of December and it was Possession, um, how Satan plays by the rules. And after this I was hooked. Um, I was so shocked at how desensitized I have become as a Christian, um, thinking some things would not affect my walk with God. Um, I started watching more of your videos and um, we decided that a change needed to, to happen in our home and I spoke to my husband and we agreed about it. Um, after that we were under enemy attack. The kingdom of God was going to gain back some ground it lost and um, I guess the devil wasn't happy about the, the territory it was about, he was about to lose. Um, my sleep paralysis got worse, the worst it has ever been and it drained me so much that I couldn't actually do the things and initiate the plans that I had to start cleansing our home from all the things that I learned from your channel. I used to sit on the couch and watch so many YouTube videos and the kids would play and watch Disney, how ironic, <laughs> without interrupting me. And after our discussion to change, I had such a hard time um, just watching one of your videos. Um, it took me a whole day to finish your video because of all of the interruptions. And that's when I knew that um, the enemy didn't want any darkness exposed in our house, home, home anymore. Um, I have to admit that I have been backsliding um, for more than two years now. I used to be on fire for God devoted walking the straight and narrow and uh, it all slipped away gradually um, since then i really tried to understand what happened and why i couldn't go back to the way it was and why i was falling back and um doing the things i thought i would never do um a few weeks ago it just hit me i saw a video on um where you talked about a couple that um they went on a trip overseas and they bought a painting and the woman got really sick and um, somebody pointed it out to them that it might be that and when they got rid of it she got better <clears throat> and um, I went through my journals and I saw my spiritual decline if you could call it that um, happened right about the time my father committed suicide in 2018 um, I bought it I bought in a few things from his home to our home and um, I asked my husband to pray with me that God would reveal to us if there's anything in our home that didn't belong there. And almost instantly, without having any background regarding this, my husband um, told me that it was the Russian Matryoshka doll. And um, I did some re research on it um, on Wikipedia and um, the Holy Spirit revealed a, a lot of disturbing things to me. Um, my dad got it for my mom when he was in Finland in 1995 and the one thing that stood out for me uh, I'm just gonna read this from Wikipedia is that they're a traditional representation of a chain of mothers carrying on the family legacy through the child in their womb furthermore they are used to illustrate the unity of body soul mind and heart and spirit and that sounds a lot like the five elements of the pentagram um, unfortunately I do not have the best um, family legacy to inherit and would definitely wouldn't want it to, to pass it on to my children. My mother committed suicide in 2013 and although she had a very hard childhood, um, she was abused by her mother who was a drug addict and later she abandoned them and um, her father later remarried. And um, my mom had an autoimmune disease called Crohn's disease and um, her younger brother committed suicide when he was 27. Although most of this led to her depression, 
um, she was obsessed with music she had a very large music collection and like you guys said um, if you want to know how many demons you have in your home just count your records and that kind of made a lot of sense to me um, and it also just occurred to me that my sleep paralysis started when I was 16 years old we were visiting my grandparents in the home my mother grew up in and that's when it started so maybe there was a connection there as well um, my younger sister was diagnosed with breast cancer um, in 2015 she was 22 years old and a year later she passed away as well um, call it what you want but I didn't want any of these um, terrible things that I've gone through my family to go through um, and that's what I thought that doll represented in our home I was very sad to learn this because I grew up with this doll I played with it countless times um, and I almost didn't want to get rid of it but that's when I realized that I should actually get rid of it because I had had an attachment to it in some way um, we burned it the same day that we um, we di I did the research and the atmosphere in our home definitely changed um, I actually it used to feel like there was a barrier between me and God and now I feel that it that it's lifted and I can actually I'm not that tired anymore I get to do Bible study again and I don't want to do the things of the world anymore and um, I'm so thankful for God's grace and the love of Jesus Christ and the um, guidance of the Holy Spirit that helped me through all of this trauma I had to deal with and I would have never been able to do it in my own strength so all the glory to God alone um, and I'm really thankful for LED's biblical insights and bravery to discuss sensitive topics that is subject to so much controversy um, I don't think it's easy being in your shoes but I appreciate the channel and um, where you stay true to God's word and not conforming to the world's ideologies um, no matter what <laughs> so thank you guys I really appreciate it um, keep up the excellent work and may God bless you